If you ever need to gather tons of data from various websites and you thought you have to do it manually, then last week's episode on web scraping is the one that you have to watch. I guarantee that it will be an eye-opener just how much time and effort you can actually save. And honestly, it doesn't even matter whether you're trying to monitor prices across different e-commerce sites, compile research data from a project, or keep track of market trends for your business, or even research trends for your next YouTube video. This video will answer all of your questions. Now if this sounds familiar or you watched the last week's video, today I want to introduce you to a tool that makes web scraping super easy for everyone even if you have no coding skills at all. So this video is about a specific piece of software and it's called ParseHub. So let's have a look. One of the biggest issues with web scraping may sometimes be the fact that if you want a good tool, you need to understand Python or any of the more advanced programming languages. In reality though, today, that is of course not true. ParseHub, for instance, is a powerful web scraping tool that simplifies the process of data extraction from websites and can automate all of that without you needing to write a single line of code. It has an intuitive interface that allows you to point and click to select the data that you want to to extract. So it's incredibly user friendly, even for those with no technical background. So whoever you are, ParseHub can help you collect and organize data from various sources quickly and efficiently. Simply put, it takes care of the heavy lifting so you can focus on analyzing the data and making informed decisions. So why have I chosen ParseHub? Good question. There's a whole myriad of great software that makes web scraping accessible. And I'm happy to touch on all of them. But look, if we have to start somewhere, ParseHub stands out for me due to its impressive set of features designed to make web scraping easy and efficient. Personally, I'm okay when it comes to tech and I'm more than happy to look things up. But I know a bunch of people who don't and I know that ParseHub would still be very easy even for them. First, there's the intuitive interface, which means that you can start scraping data with just a few clicks. It includes IP rotation which helps prevent your scraper from getting blocked by websites. It automatically changes your IP address to keep your scraping activity under the radar. Another great feature is the ability to schedule data collection. This means that you can set ParseHub to scrape websites at regular intervals, ensuring you always have up-to-date data without having to manually start each scrape. ParseHub also offers API integration, allowing you to easily connect the extracted data to your own applications and workflows. And because it's compatible with Windows, Mac and Linux, whatever device you have, whatever the operating system you run, ParseHub has no problem with that at all. It even integrates with cloud storage services like Dropbox and Amazon S3, so storing and accessing your data is a piece of cake. The same goes for file types, whether you need data in JSON, Excel or CSV formats. ParseHub is more than happy to handle it all. So as you can see, ParseHub is very versatile and powerful, perfect for anybody needing to automate their data extraction tasks. Now, as it was the case in the last video, when it comes to the idea of web scraping, there's always the question of legality. The short answer is yes, but with some important caveats. Just like with any web scraping tool, it's crucial to respect the terms of service of the website that you're scraping. Some sites explicitly prohibit automated data extraction, so always check their policies before you start. Parse is designed to be a responsible tool, but how you use it matters. Ethical scraping practices are key, such as limiting your request frequency to avoid overwhelming the website server and ensuring that you're not violating any laws regarding data usage. Also be mindful of data privacy laws, especially when it comes to scraping personal data. Adhering to regulations like GDPR can help you stay on the right side of the law. In short, ParseHub is a powerful tool Tool that is perfect in your data collection efforts. It's essential to use it responsibly and ethically to avoid any legal issues. 
So why should you choose Parse Hub over any other web scraping tool? I think its best selling point is just how user friendly it is. Essentially it's just point and click. This interface is accessible to anybody regardless of their technical expertise. This means that you can get started with web scraping right away without needing to learn any programming language. You don't even need to read the guide for Parse Hub. It's that intuitive. Then there's the customer support and if necessary, extensive documentation that can help you navigate any challenges that you might face, making it a reliable choice for both beginners and seasoned professionals. So collectively, these features make Parse Hub a standout tool for me in the web scraping landscape, offering a blend of ease of use and powerful capabilities that are just hard to beat. So give it a try, whether you're looking to automate data collection for business insights, academic research, or personal projects, ParseHub can save you time and effort. I'll put the link in the description below so they can easily download it. By the way, if you're interested in ParseHub, make sure to check out our blog. I'll link it in the description and in a pinned comment for you. And if you're new to web scraping, don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out our previous video up here on web scraping basics to get a deeper understanding of how it all works. Remember, Parse Hub's intuitive interface means that you don't need any coding skills to get started. Just download the tool, follow the easy setup instructions, and start scraping data in no time. By the way, if you think that you need tutorial on Parse Hub or any other software, let us know in the comment section and we'll make it happen. Until next time, bye.